we've had a insane day today. We've climbed thousands of feet and somehow decided that on our first day of section K, which is, well, our second day, but really the first crazy section, we should hike a lot, a lot of miles. And the motivation was that we could get done with the crazy section faster and not have to carry super heavy packs with all our food. But we're very exhausted. We're about 15 miles in, about four miles from the campsite we want to go to. And we've been stuck in a dense forest and lots of bushwhacking where the trail is just completely grown over and we've had to just kind of maneuver our way through with our trekking poles. And we finally opened up into this crazy vista. As you can see, it's insanely beautiful. It's very like hazy due to a fire east of Stahican. But there's three waterfalls, there's snowy there's peaks. Six waterfalls. Six waterfalls. There's Apparently six Emily waterfalls. has recounted. One, two, three, four. Wow. Five, six. Okay. I'm gonna let you go for now. We're at four miles to go. And it's five thirty. So we decided to take the new PCT, not the old PCT. The old PCT got redirected when a bridge crossing the Seattle River got washed out. And now there's a log that goes across, but the path has not been maintained, so it's all brushed over and whatnot. So we opted for the nice new path to the new bridge, but apparently we need to cross under three logs in order to get to our brand new bridge. Oh, of course, which added five miles to our hike to the new path rather than the old path. Yay! There's a beaver or badger or something. It looks kind of like a puppy. Stopping to eat some flowers. It's white and brown. Pretty cute. It's pausing to see what the heck we're gonna do. Okay. We are very exhausted today. Last night was a thunderstorm. Our first one. And our tent apparently does not protect us from water. Emily's side of the tent was completely soaked. Mine was only partially soaked. Her sleeping bag is wet and it's been humid and misty all day. So there's been just all these clouds in the sky. So no way to dry out our packs or get any sort of semblance of the water out of our sleeping bag or stuff. We've had to wade a few times through water and we're about to cross this bridge. I don't know if you can see it. It used to go straight across, but now it dips down and we have to cross over like rushing water, which looks ever so fun. Yay. of, oh, about 5,300 feet up. It's hard, to, now that I'm videoing, it doesn't look so, like, cloudy, but we're basically in a cloud right now, which is a little crazy. We're trying to keep our spirits up. It's August 14th. We videoed yesterday, too, and it had thundered the night before, and it was from people we heard that it was supposed to clear up and be sunny again, but it rained again last night, so... Our clothes did not dry. Emily's sleeping bag is still soaked. Luckily, we were able to share mine and sleep on our uh, emergency like bivy and have a dry night, which helped our spirits. Um, but uh, it's been raining all day so far. Finally, it's the only time that it hasn't been drizzling on us. But we're doing okay. We started our hike early, getting woken at 5.30 by the rain, and uh, just been trekking. Bye-bye. We're at Lake Sally Ann on the PCT. It's beautiful. Our goal is to get to this campsite. We've hiked about 15 miles so far. We're at mile 25, 14.6. No, 2504.6. Oh, yes, because we started at 2520 today. Today we want to get it to 2500 and do 20 miles. 
which sounds maybe awesome. It's only like three o'clock, so woohoo! It's, it's raining, raining, as you can see on the lake. Bye bye. August fifteenth, day fifteen. Slept really bad last night. It was at an angle, cold, wet. It had finally stopped raining, so we could set up the tent, but then there was puddles everywhere, so the only spot we could find was way past where we wanted to go, and um, ended up being uh, basically a mound, so we were like angled all night, and it was kind of miserable, but good news, this morning, you can see the sun, there's blue skies, we're 18 miles from Stevens Pass, which will lead us to warmth, warm showers, a dry bed, food we can order and have made for us, which is fantastic. And we camped right by, uh, it's called Pear Lake, which I'm going to do a little whoop for you so you can see it. It's beautiful. It's interesting, the lower down now that we are, the water isn't quite so as like aquamarine as the water of like Mica Lake and the ones that we saw up above. It looks more like a lake lake. It's also much bigger, like a lake and stuff where pretty tiny, um, but it's gorgeous, and there's actually sun peeking out from behind those clouds. We're still, like, half in a cloud, which is a little crazy. Woke up in the whole, like, campsite area up here is all foggy, but, um, we're gonna get on the road and hike 18 miles. It's about 7.30, and we're gonna rock it out, have some ice cream. <laughs>